What is going on YouTube? Final Boss back and today I'm having an absolute blast with this Ice Golem Loon deck and we got the Electro Wizard in there. If you don't have the Electro Wizard, go on ahead and throw an Ice Wizard in there. If you don't have an Ice Wizard, um, go on ahead and throw some Archers in there. So just kind of keep it cheap and uh, able to cycle and uh, that's going to work out really nice and well. Uh, you're going to be able to beat people that you don't even believe you're going to be able to beat because uh, I beat a bunch of people with furnaces earlier. I even got some higher, beat some higher level players that were level 11s. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to go on ahead and take a look at some live gameplay. Let's get after it. All right, Paco, give it us uh, your best shot here. All right, we're going to go on ahead and just start here with the initial push. We got the ice goal in leading, and this is typically your push that you're going to do here. He's got the Mega Minion coming in, and we get a bonus uh, tombstone. The ice goal pops. We're going to go on ahead and kill that, and right off the bat, we're going to go on ahead and take down the tower. Oh, yeah. He puts down a bad freeze against the skeleton army. That's going to put down a lot of his elixir. He's practically broke right now at this point. But so are we. We're going to take a little bit of damage of looking like here. Drop the Mega Minion. Probably didn't need to drop the Mega Minion, but, you know, we maybe, like, saved yourself a, a couple hundred damage here. So we're just going to replenish our Elixir and uh, just kind of see what happens here. All right, so he puts down an Ice Golem, and we're going to drop the Electro Windsor as he drops the Graveyard. Uh, didn't have a lot to... It's like we kind of put a panic tombstone down, which is going to help. And then we're just going heavy over here on the skeleton army. Probably not the best that I'd want to uh, to go there, but we were still able to defend. We didn't lose a ton of damage off his uh, big push there. And he drops down his elite barbarians. Electro wizard did lock onto the tower. We are doing a little bit of damage here. Uh, the elite barbarians are going to take that down. We drop our moving minion to take care of the elite barbarians. Pretty easily here, he's going to get one hit off. That's okay. I really don't want to do any of the pushes unless I have the Ice Golem in front. So he's kind of like the tank. If there used to be a deck just like this that uh, I used to run that had a knight and it was just a loon cycle deck. The, uh, the zap effect is really hard to pull off and it's really not typical. You're going to see it in every game where you're actually using it. But so many people use bait decks, so maybe we can actually get into a situation. We're going to go on ahead and fire him all his Mega Minion over there. Uh, just because we don't want him uh, getting in with full health, getting tanking all the damage, and uh, we're still able to clean up pretty nicely here. Uh, don't have a ton of experience with this deck currently, but uh, this is just absolutely just killing it right now. Uh, just uh, I'm feeling really good, especially when you can catch somebody off guard. Uh, so it's not a bad just kind of like a hog push. You can put the ice golem down and put the hog, and just kind of hope for the best right at the bat. Um, so you can try to get them you know, in the very beginning. So I probably should have fireball right there, but I do have the Mega Minion going on in the back. So we're just going to kind of protect everything. Uh, going to go ahead and uh, keep some pressure on that right-hand side. So he's going to have to defend. If not, he's going to lose a tower. He drops down his skeleton army, throw in a prediction fireball that didn't really work out because he's doing his all-in push there. Able to take that tower. So even if he was able to defend, he was able to do that. So good game. All right. Yeah, it's not Academy. It sticks. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> go ahead and uh, put down the wow there. I, I'm not, I was saying wow to his name. I, I can't believe his name's still, still going. So, uh, he puts out an Electro Wizard. So, that's pretty nice to stop that there. It's a good push since he has the uh, Minion Horde. The only time you really see Minion Horde in this day and age is uh, currently with the bait deck. The uh, skeleton army is going to to distract nicely, kind of like one of the elixir skeletons, takes some minion horde all the way over to the other side, and he just drops a, uh, a skeleton army. So actually, look at this. Oh, yeah. We got the, if I would have dropped it right in front, I think that would have taken that would have taken out the goblin hide completely. Haven't had a ton of experience with it since I only had the, got to play the one time with it. So I was getting kind of excited to play with the Electro Wizard, even though I, I don't think, I don't want to say bad things because I know you guys will hate me because then the next update is going to come out. It's going to be the best card in the game, and you guys are going to be like, boss, you said it was a bad card, and it should be using Ice Wizard. Yeah, and currently right now, the Ice Wizard doesn't die to a Fireball, and it kind of just holds everybody's push off. Uh, the Electro Wizard is kind of a nice, it kind of stuns everything, and uh, it, it does a nice job in kind of holding it off. 
you only really want to play it uh, defensively. You don't really want to play it offensively. Uh, it's kind of one of those cards you just kind of sit back and just kind of wait like the Ice Wizard. You don't want to do an aggressive Ice Wizard push on the bridge, obviously. Uh, don't have my push here. It feels really weird if I don't have my Mega Minion in the front. So we're just kind of sending it down a naked dry balloon uh, with not much in going on here. I probably shouldn't have put the Ice Golem down, but that was fine. Actually, it looks like we're going to get one good hit. No, we got some death damage there from the loon, which is actually good. That's nice. That's some nice death damage, guys. If you can get a loon on the tower, even if it's going to explode, it's kind of worth it. It's almost like a, almost too equivalent to a hog hit. So uh, I'm not sure exactly on the tournament standard or on the loon. Could check that and see what it is. But it, to me, it's still a positive trade. Making a fireball there, that, that might actually be a good strategy going forward. I did put the loon in the back right here. Just because I, I don't have my Ice Golem. So I really want the Ice Golem leading in the front. The Tombstone, it was had an excellent placement. Going to drop down the Skarmory here. Just to, anything I can do to just into this push. Just to kind of keep him going. Going to fireball his E-Wiz. And we're going to get an hit in. Yes. And then now the Loon is about to explode. So yeah, there's about 300, almost 300, almost 300 damage it looks like. Um, and I really don't, that was weird. He fireballed. Does he not have a max fireball? That was really weird because the fireball is supposed to take out the E Wiz. Maybe he didn't have um, a full one. Um, but yeah, he throws down the Goblin Barrel. Uh, right now, it's a really close game. I'm not really dropping it into the heat of the battle. Uh, Draws down a fireball doesn't really get any good value in here. We have a pretty strong push going on here. He's going to drop his uh, Goblin Barrel. We're going to zap that away. Prediction fireball going on. And uh, going to take down the win here. Wow. Wow. Good game. All right. Let's so play some uh, Chinese dude, it looks like. We're going to go ahead and put down a tombstone just on a nice placement. And he sends down a goblin barrel. We're going to zap all that mess away. And he's going to fireball pretty aggressive right here. Uh, got, our, got our ice golem down. So anytime we can get our, our setup here, if, especially after he fireballs, Mini Horde is going to clean up the loon nice. Just at this point now, we're just kind of hoping that he's going to get a hit. Then we did right there. And the, uh, we're going to maybe possibly, nope, he drops down the uh, the the spears. And we're going to drop the e Miz on top of those goblins. That is just so cool whenever you can do that and get some cool value there. Uh, really going to help out with the uh, the bait decks uh, since it seems like so many people want to play the bait decks in all levels of the game. I don't know. So we have the, we have the Ice Golem here. He does throw a barrel out. The barrel has to be responded to. Taking a little damage over there on the left side. The key kept those little, little Larrys out. Um, not pushing right now. Need a big setup here. Kind of to figure out how I'm going to get around the horde. Because, um, you know, he's fireballing the tombstone, which is negative elixir trade, but it's also getting some chip damage in. Uh, go ahead and put down the loon. He puts his uh, furnace down in a bad placement. Unfortunately, the uh, mini horde is just a, a great counter to that. The loon damage right there is just going to obliterate most of the horde. I was hoping for a hit right there. Not going to be able to do that. Don't want to take too many of the, uh, the, the splash damage from that I could have done something cool, but I kind of wanted to put the e in the back. Um, really didn't want to put down or zap right there uh, since they put it in the back and uh, just kind of let that go. Didn't take too much damage on it. We're going to go on ahead and pull the skeleton army away. Was hoping I could get some of those fire spirits. Fire, fire spirits are actually going to do some damage. Now, this is where I feel like I'm going to have a good opportunity. The Mega Minions locked on over here. Uh, it's a really good bait deck on his part. He goes on ahead and uh, puts that on there. I'm going to go ahead and zap. I'm going to completely miss it. Just need, trying to get some kind of distractions in here whatsoever. That whole gets taken out. That's right. Man, I'm not talking about dinner. And uh, go ahead and put the Electro Wizard on the bridge, which I said you shouldn't do. But uh, I was trying to take out this furnace for everything I can. Um, you know, just get it behind the ice hole because I can't get my push going on set up over here. He goes on ahead and puts down his... Uh, Minion Horde, Minion Hordes get taken out yet again. Still, still, still in a tight spot right now. It's just, uh, it's, 
It's looking like the ball's in his court and just not going my way. But can't let any more chip damage go on now. Uh, can't be silly. Now we got our ice golem leading. That the tower is going to lock onto the ice golem. Going to go on ahead and throw down that prediction fireball. The prediction fireball was money. Uh, I was glad that he didn't meet it on the bridge. Now whenever this bad boy does explode from the death damage, we are able to take down the W. Uh, you think he got a little aggressive and he put his uh, furnace in the back. So kind of not always do you lose a game. You uh, you know you, typically you lose a game. You didn't win the game. And that's what the that's what they say. That is what they say. All right, he drops down a cannon, which is really weird. And if I would have thought a little bit smarter right here, I could have pushed on the right hand side. But I put the mega minion down on the left side, uh, which was not a solid play on my part. Um, going ahead and fireball that since we're gonna take out one archer and a cannon. Uh, not much going on here. You know, maybe some skeletons are gonna get over here, but he zaps. Uh, which is a little on the weird side, uh, and this is not looking good. I did not realize that he has had a giant. Um, this is our time for our Electro Boy to shine. Put down the Ice Cone there to just kind of hold everything off, drop down our Skeleton Army to take care of that, and he's going ahead and dropping a some late arrows. At that point, I think if I was him, I probably would just let it go and just said, okay, you know, enough of that push, but I guess he was going for... You know, an all-in approach, and instead of dealing with it there, he's going to deal with it uh, right then and there and take some damage off the tower, which is kind of smart sometimes. But every single time I have the setup here, guys, I don't want to really push. Um, I really don't want to push my setup with or a loon down the lane unless I have the ice golem. So right now I'm trying to, you know, figure out how I can get the loon here. But he's getting his setup nice and well, and uh, I'm going to go on ahead and fire the ball this here. Because I'm going to have to respond to a Mega Minion. Uh, you just can't let a Mega Minion go. So I already know what his setup is. Uh, unless anything, you know, haven't, uh, he has arrows. So I'm assuming that he didn't have uh, freeze or anything at this point. So able to, to Skeleton Army is able to clean this up. Still haven't able to get my full push in. Just because the cards on the rotation hadn't set me up for success yet. So just really sitting here playing smart and trying to wait for... Um, we're trying to wait for my, my chance. So he's he keeps doing his split. We're going to go ahead and fire all that mess. We're going to go on ahead and pull his giant over at the last second that I'm able to do that. Zap his Mega Minion away because that's really a key ingredient here. And he has Zap and Arrows able to do that. I put it down a poor Electro Wizard. I should have just dropped it into the uh, to his uh, little Larry push, but I was not able to do that. I uh, am not have not been able to be on the offensive. I've been on the defense for pretty much the whole game just because I hadn't got it set up in here. Now he goes ahead and puts that there. I put it down a prediction fireball. He uh, I try to zap right there, get some damage, and since his uh, minion is still alive, he decides to switch up lane. That's all you need with his combo is just run, run really good, solid push. Kind of what I'm making on, and it's, uh, that's our, our major win condition here. I'm going to go on ahead and zap that away just because I want the... Uh, some of that splash damage just to slow down the giant and everything else. I actually thought that was his mega minion going into this mess. Our uh, loon is actually going to get pulled this time. I'm going to go ahead and fireball the archers away just in case I can get lucky. Maybe get some a uh, little bit of splash damage and we did get some splash damage. So yeah, it looks like I think it was at 900. So it's almost 300 damage, guys. Going ahead and drop the electro wizard. Learn from our mistake from the previous one there. And instead of putting that, and now we waited for the skeleton army to be dropped. He does have a zap, but the ice golem is going to go on ahead and put that over here. Put a panic, put a panic tombstone down because I didn't want any hits being done right there. And now he's had to put his cannon on the on the on the on the opposite side of the push. Where that's kind of another area we kind of messed him up here. If we put down the ice golem, I'm going to go on ahead and fireball, um, fireball zap the, uh, the that right there. Uh, his Mega Minion and our Wounds going to come in for the victory. Good game. Wow.